Hello, my name is Richard Corsi, and I'm honored to serve as the Dean of the Massey College of Engineering and Computer Science. Congratulations to all of our wonderful graduates. I know I speak for the entire faculty and staff of the Massey College when I say, we are proud of you. We have seen your will, we have seen your determination, and we have seen your grace too. I don't want to forget those who have supported you during your journey. Parents, partners, children, grandparents, siblings, and friends. We celebrate and thank you today as well. I'd like to begin with a few words about the challenges that face our nation and indeed the world today, and how these relate to engineering, computer science, and you. We are in the middle of a worldwide pandemic that has caused far too many deaths and will undoubtedly cause many more. Anguish, grief, steep gradients in mental health decline, devastating effects on our economy. These effects have been disproportionately felt by communities of color and the poor. The COVID-19 death rate in black communities is twice the national average. The rate of COVID-19 deaths on many Native American lands exceed those of every single state. Superimposed on the worst pandemic in over 100 years is the ugly, ugly face of racism that we have seen play out over and over and over and over again. The killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Tamir Rice, Philando Castile, Eric Garner, Tanisha Anderson, Ahmaud Arbery, and a list that goes on and on and on and on should, should simply burn a hole in all of our hearts. We must stand united against hatred, against racism, against murder of black men and women. Those of us who have not shared the life experiences of black, black Americans must, must get uncomfortable. We have to let down our guards. We have to listen. We have to learn. We need to grow and demand and work for justice. Speak truth to power. Speak truth to ignorance and start speaking it today. I am committed to doing so because black lives matter. And learning from those who come from very different life experiences than our own, not only bring us closer, but also make all of us better, make all of us richer in spirit and soul. Demand justice now and every single day. Graduates, you earned a powerful degree at an extraordinary time in history. Your education, your skill sets, your ability to be problem solvers, innovators, big thinkers, difference makers, and more are more important now than any time in the past century. You will have opportunities to transform society, opportunities to improve and lift the human experience, our human condition. You will have opportunities to save lives, save society, save the planet. The world needs you. In March of 1991, George Holliday used a then cutting edge Sony Handycam 8mm video camera to film the absolutely brutal beating of Rodney King at the hands of those who are supposed to protect all of us. Imagine if there had been cell phone cameras then. How much more injustice would the world have seen? Think about this small device, a cell phone and its contents that make it so powerful. This technology and its many apps developed by engineers and computer scientists has allowed us to put a huge magnifying glass on injustice, on oppression, on killing, on murder. Just think of the technologies that we might develop and apply to make the world a more just world in the future. You have an opportunity to apply your knowledge to make that world. Many of you will develop or apply new technologies that ultimately help the underserved and the oppressed. Strive for that. Let the satisfaction of knowing that you made our world a more just one be central to your spiritual paycheck. Work to develop and apply technologies that reduce community exposures to deadly viruses and pollution. Work to combat climate change, which not only devastates natural ecosystems, but has a disproportionate impact on underserved communities. Reinvent the built environment to improve health for all. Use technology to create peace cities where civil infrastructure does not divide, but rather unite communities of different colors or different economic stature. 
I'd like to end by providing four important bits of advice to our graduates. Number one, listen and learn from others, including those in different disciplines, including those with different life experiences and with different standing. This will make you a richer person, both in your personal and in your professional lives. Number two, admit when you don't know something. Learn to say the words, I do not know. If you pretend you know and you really don't, it'll take away your credibility when you actually do have something important to say. Admit you do not know and then go and get the answer. Number three, never make ethical compromises for money or glory. Never, never. High integrity will breed respect, trust, and followers, and you can use these for social good. Number four, lead by making others around you shine. Help others when they need your help. Share your successes with others. Never, ever, ever take credit that is due others. Doing so will haunt you throughout your entire career and your life. Build bridges. Empower those around you. These are the characteristics of a true leader, a successful leader. If you do the things I just mentioned, you will look back someday on an exemplary career. If you use your education and skills to help others, to bring greater justice to the world, you'll look back someday on an exemplary life. Graduates, we are so very proud of you. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Now go forth and make us even prouder. Thank you and congratulations to the Massey College of Engineering and Computer Science, Class of 2020. My name is Ana Tijerina Esquino, and I am graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Civil Engineering. I wanted to begin today by acknowledging that these are extraordinary times. These are extraordinary times, but thankfully we are extraordinary people. I know of professors at PSU that memorize the name of every student in their 50 plus person courses by the second day of class. That is extraordinary. I know of MCEC staff that balance hundreds of tasks and special requests and yet always remain available to be a friendly smile or an understanding shoulder. That is extraordinary. I know of students who while enrolled worked parented and still have the time to complete their many 10 hour homeworks. I know of students that are active duty reserves, but still manage to volunteer some of their extremely limited free time to help their fellow classmates. I know of students that are fresh from high school and some who return to college after a long hiatus and have seen them learn from each other. What is that if not extraordinary? So today, I don't have to give you a cliche and tell my fellow graduates to prepare for the real world. I don't have to because PSU students live in the real world. Instead, I wanna thank you. I thank you for providing an experience that forever changed me. I thank you for always taking the time to repeat a difficult concept when we didn't get it the first three times. I thank you for laughing and crying with me in the EB building when we felt we couldn't go on. I thank you for supporting me and the rest of these graduates because I am certain half of what you do is outside of your job description. I thank you for all I know that you'll do after you leave this institution. The world certainly needs your help and I know PSU has prepared you. I'm excited to see all that together we'll do. Thank you. My mother moved my brother and I to the United States when we were teens because she dreamed of a country that was free of corruption. As an adult, I've had to come to terms with the fact that the America my mother dreamed of was not this land of boundless opportunity for all of its populace. So what is there for us to do now? We cannot move forward toward crafting our free society if it is not free for all. The time for slow progress has passed. America was founded on stolen lands and slavery. We must atone for the sins of this nation if we would like to together move toward the America my mother so long ago envisioned. That means that we cannot tolerate one single more untimely black death, not one single more missing native woman, not one single more caged migrant. 
As engineers, it is our duty to squarely face and redesign the systems which hold so many of us back so that we may build a society that uplifts. It's time for all of us to get to work. Thank you. Congratulations, MTEX graduates. Hey, we did it. There's many long hours of writing, studying, and presenting. We invested in ourselves and in our futures. We helped others and learned how to ask for help ourselves. We made lifelong connections. Today, I want to share three learnings that maybe you'll find helpful along your way. The first is the power of saying yes. My academic path interleaves study with work in industry. There, I learned the value of saying yes to new opportunities, even if they're a little out of my comfort zone. As an example, my first job out of college was at a high tech firm, but I had a degree in uh, history. I had some technical certifications, but I definitely felt a little less qualified than the experienced computer scientists and computer engineers I was working with. So a few years later, I embarked upon a path of study that ultimately led to a PhD in computer science. And Portland State University was critical in closing that gap. Sometimes saying yes is not so challenging. At one point, a project arose that needed help setting up communications with servers in Hawaii at 14,000 feet. I had no experience doing this type of thing, but it sounded interesting. And looking back, it was a fantastic project. So say yes to new opportunities. That might even take you to Hawaii, although perhaps not right now. The second is to bring up others with you on your journey. Sharing what we learn multiplies our impact and trains those who are just beginning. Sometimes there could be a tendency to guard what we know, to not freely share the products of our hard work. I encourage you to work against those tendencies. You'll continue to chase the next big breakthrough. Plus, coasting through life isn't your style. If you start to forget, recall Portland State University's motto, let knowledge serve the city. The third learning is to take advantage of this unique moment in time. This year, I completed my PhD in computer science. My dissertation focused on detecting advanced attacks on computer systems by pausing the systems for short intervals, looking for signs of compromise, all without creating a noticeable slowdown. Dealing with time on such a small scale got me thinking. The research showed it was possible to reach big decisions in millions of a second. So what life decisions could you make if you devoted a few orders of magnitude more time to that, like say a few seconds. This is a great time for reflection. Appreciate what's going well and decide what needs to change. Don't be afraid to find a better way. Going forward, you'll discover your own path. Find out how to say yes to new opportunities. Bring up others, you'll need their help. And consider your next steps. The rest of our lives is what we make it. How will you use this moment in time? It's an honor to offer my congratulations to everyone who is graduating today, especially those of you from the Department of Computer Science. You have risen to the challenge and in some very challenging times too. I wish you happiness and success in whatever you do next. Congratulations on your success and we are proud of your accomplishments. You know, for the last uh, 48 years, uh, I've been able to attend all the commencement ceremonies and shake hands with our graduates in person. This is your commencement. This is your new beginning. Keep learning and keep us posted on all of your future progress. Best of luck to you. Graduation is always a little bit bittersweet and this year, maybe more so than usual because we can't celebrate together in person. However, we are still so proud of what you've accomplished and so excited for your future. Good luck, stay in touch, and congratulations, you did it. To all the CCE graduates of the class of 2020, it's been a privilege to be a part of your story at PSU. I wish each and every one of you the best as you begin your careers as engineers. And I also challenge you to continue to apply your creativity to solve the seemingly insurmountable challenges of our world today. Congratulations, class of 2020. From my backyard to yours, congratulations to the 2020 graduates of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Your journey at PSU should have provided you with the tools to start a successful career in engineering, and most importantly, the ability to learn on your own. 
I wish that you find good balance between personal life and career and that you will be able to positively contribute to our society. Congratulations again and go Vikes! They say adversity gives birth to greatness. If that is true, then this will be the greatest class Portland State has ever produced. Hello, welcome to graduation. What a way to do it. But you deserve the best of my congratulations of passing all your courses, getting the grades that you needed to get to graduation. Well done. I can't tell you how proud I am of those of you who graduated from Portland State and especially those of you who graduated from our CS program that's one of the toughest programs at this university. I am really sorry as well that I can't be there with you to share this moment. If you'd like me to reach out to you and your family via Zoom, let me know. Uh, my students in EC424 reminded me of an important advice. Don't panic. Uh, unless you're getting your PhD degree today, you're not an expert yet, but that will come. In the meantime, uh, pursue your passions and expand your horizons. Best of luck to you all. 